All right, so with your Ecobee here, just to go over some of the settings for the smart vent, um, if you go down here and you go to uh, settings, defaults, preferences, and you go to uh, installation settings, equipment, um, ventilator, uh, you'll, you know, it'll have all the settings here. This is important with the, you know, EcoJ 4X board. Since it's got a max, uh, a max temperature, it'll allow the economizer to be on at 68. You have to set this the same. Otherwise they fight one another and you end up air conditioning the outside air, uh, in the free cooling mode. And then if you go back here to system ventilator, uh, free cooling is enabled. So, uh, one of the things you want to do though, is you want to put these occupied minimum run times and unoccupied minimum run times at zero. Otherwise, the fresh air vent will open and it might be 100 degrees outside and it'll pump 100 degree air into your house. Um, so just kind of a quirk of, of how this is set up. I think it's, it's meant to set it up as like a, a normal fan or something. But so that's how that works. Um, also, you can go here to your quick changes menu and you can manually set the ventilator for 20 minutes. However, again, the outside air temp has got to be cooler than 68 degrees. Okay, so with the EcoJ 4X board here, I've had it a couple of days installed with my new EcoB thermostat and been working out the uh, fresh air damper or Butler smart vent um, functionality. And so how I have it is I've got the Ecobee controlling it through the accessory plus wire on the Y terminal. And what that does is it allows the Ecobee to use their free cooling feature, which is pretty cool. However, I found out something about that and the EcoJ, you know, kind of fighting one another. So the EcoJ has a uh, plenum supply temperature limit for the economizer feature in their advanced literature. 68 degrees is uh is is what it'll set out and if the plenum temp if your outside temp no matter what happens no matter what the ecobee tells it if the outside temp is hotter than 68 degrees it'll only allow the economizer to work for like three minutes um and then it'll stop working however if you energize a 24 volt signal on the g-wire um then it'll work manually it kind of overrides that and, and that programming is not in the eco j so what i've done is i've added a 24 volt switch so i'm allowing the eco b to use the free cooling feature when it's colder than 68 degrees outside and i've now got a manual fresh air damper smart so switch. here's the switch on the wall i've added it's real simple just a single pole switch flick it up blower fan turns on and then the Butler smart vent damper begins to close. Okay, so my wife's just turned on the manual smart vent feature. You can see it illuminates supply and economizer. And then down here, you can see the green light is turned on. And now down here on the damper, that light is turned on. So, works great.